So what are we doing now? We are now doing the tin dendrite experiment, which is going to grow little strings of tin um, in a petri dish. So in this kind of reaction, in general, like the products of the reaction have more energy, energy than, than free energy than the reactants. That's right. right. So you need energy to make them. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is fill up the bottom of this petri dish with tin to chlorine. And I'm going to zoom in on the our little reaction. Okay. Here. Poke in the cotton plug. And get it all out of there. Like, we use tin for anything these days? I guess they used to make foil out of it, but yeah. now it's aluminum foil, huh? Yeah, tin is uh, not that great for human health, it turns out. Oh, okay. So it's not used for a whole lot. I'm sure it's used in electronic components and things like that from time to time, but. All right. All right, so we've got the tin in there. Two drops of liquid soap, which I'm guessing helps the solution spread out on the bottom of the petri dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, two drops. Look at that. Boom. <gasps> and then it spread out. Oh, I wish I, I don't think yep. I got that so beautiful. Oh, that's video, all right. But that is cool how it just spread out so nicely. Yep. Messing with that surface tension. Yep. Hydrogen okay. bonds disrupted. Yep. Distribute Check. liquid evenly, which was super easy. All we had to do was let nature work its magic. And now we have alligator clips, which are going to allow us to connect the battery to the water. Whoop. I'll use this side there then. Yep. We're going to match the colors up. You don't really have to match up the colors, but this way we'll, we'll know how electrons are flowing. Well, because a wire is a wire, right? No, I mean, but why not? Oh, why, why not, not match? Oh, yeah, why exactly. Not? Let's match right on it red. Looks just to, it looks prettier that just way. Just to, uh... Yeah. The electrons okay. are going to come out of the black leaf. So we okay. should see tin growing. Do you see it? Oh, oh, oh. Yep, there's already tin growing. Look at that. From that lead. Wow. Essentially, electrons are coming out of there. And... They are reducing the tin two that's in there to tin metal. Huh. Here's the reaction. If you want to yeah. show right, that. So the electrons are reducing tin two. So the electrons really are coming from the water. Oh, coming from the water. Yeah. Okay. Um, they get pulled up over here at the red. Oh, uh, okay. And then they flow. And then the battery kind of drives them in on this side. So, we, so should we also see bubbling somewhere? Is that where we're producing oxygen gas? There is a bubble on the red huh. side. Okay, so you that think is that's slowly growing. That's got to be. That's got to be oxygen. Do you have a match? Gas. Let's burn it. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool. Look Isn't at the cool? tin. It's the attack of the tin. Yeah. The tin is encroaching. What do you think that this kit illustrates? Is there any? Are there any kind of particular like if you were you talking to a ten year old? Yeah. About the chemistry of the tin kit. What, what okay. would you, how would you summarize what you learn, what you should be able to learn from this tin kit? So tin is a metal, right? And what metals are really good at is exchanging electrons. And so what this kit illustrates is how tin can either gain or lose electrons in chemical reactions. So in the dendrite experiment, we had tin two plus gaining electrons to form tin metal, and we got the beautiful metal solid. In the tin hedgehog, uh, we were producing tin metal also in a slightly different way. Instead of using electrical power like we did right here to kind of force the electrons through, um, we used the electrons inside the zinc metal to actually drive the process. So a good way to make metals, give them electrons. That's <laughs> the lesson of this kit in a nutshell. <laughs> or a good way to make salts? Take electrons away. Yeah.
are. Right. right. So those are harder to see, right? Yeah. But in, if you could, if you could zoom in Fantastic Voyage style to the microscopic level of the ten hedgehog in the solution, you would see zinc ions in the solution also. Um, hard, harder to see with our naked eye, unless the solution is colored. So probably in their copper kit, there's something where you make a blue solution out of the brown mm. copper metal oh. when the ions are created. So yeah.